Hello everyone. Um, today I'm going to give a quick synopsis of signal phrasing, uh, an important tool that you can use in your writing uh, to introduce evidence and quotes into your paper. So what signal phrasing really is, is it's doing just that. It's introducing a quote or piece of evidence into your paper by giving it a little context and some background. Uh, so for example, you want to include the author's name, the title of the work, and probably a little short synopsis of what the work is about so that you're sort of showing your readers that you understand the text and uh, you're showing the readers where this particular piece of evidence is coming from. So for example, if you're using the book To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, you would want to start off by saying something like this, in the novel To Kill a Mockingbird by well-renowned author Harper Lee, Lee explores the moral nature of human beings. In her text, she writes dot, dot, dot. And then you'll put the quote in, um, and at the end of the sentence, you'll put the parenthetical with the page number. What's nice about signal phrasing is that because you're including the author name and the year and the title in your actual signal phrase, you don't have to put it in the in text citation at the end of the paper. So that's a good way to show your reader, um, especially if it's a professor, that you understand the text that you're pulling your evidence from uh, and give them a little bit of context and background into that specific quote that you're bringing on. So everyone, make sure to practice that when you are writing because it's a great way to not only make your paper longer, but also uh, to make it clearer to your readers uh, what exactly you're pulling um, a quote from in your paper and not just putting a quote in there with no explanation whatsoever. Good luck.